we, we it's a very active and alive collection. We're collecting, uh, as a matter of fact, I had a school group in last week. Uh, they wanted to know about uh, um, people more in their generation, and we had books on them. We had um, the current theater people. We, we try to buy as well um, books for young people for them to come and start learning to do research. So as well as the academic kinds of things and the things, uh, thesis, um, we try to get a mixture of things, again, because we're a public library and we want to span all of the generations. So now we have LL Cool J. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I'm going blank now, but some of the... Uh, current rap artists and I personally because I do the buying for the collection I'm trying to get uh, a good sampling of what the culture is and what people are listening to and what they uh, uh, are embracing right now today so that 50 100 years from now people can look and say 2005 this is what was happening and what was important in the area of the performing arts for black folk uh, specifically in Detroit, but we, we go beyond Detroit's borders as well. So if someone wants to find out more about what you're doing or want to somehow be involved, can't do can outsiders be involved with what you're doing? Definitely, definitely. We uh, have uh, an organization called the Friends of the Hackley Collection that people can become uh, members of. They would get uh, notices about events. Of course, if you're out of town, maybe there are many events that you wouldn't be able to come to, but it would keep you in the loop and hooked up as to uh, what's happening in the way of the culture. Um, we also have a wonderful brochure that uh, we may use as a marketing tool and uh, an awareness piece that we send uh, all over the country, all over the world. Uh, and this tells about the collection. It has sample of the photo. We have a wonderful photograph collection, too, in the collection. And we put a sampling in here of some of the artists. Now, admittedly, most of our uh, photographs are people uh, of the past. Uh, because a couple of reasons, but the main one was, uh, was when this collection was started, uh, it was the first. There was no one else collecting uh, any information about the black performing artists. And so that's where our rare gems are. And the other thing that's different now, uh, that material isn't as readily given uh, today as it was, uh, say, 50 years ago. Uh, but we do as best we can. You see on the cover here we have uh, uh, Alvin Ailey and Judith Jameson, and then on the inside cover we have Savion Glover. So we're trying to span the time period so that the young people uh, can see that they come from a long continuum of performing artists on all genres. Last question. Mm -hmm. How many other Hackleys have you had a chance to meet since you've been here. <laughs> You're my first, no, I take that back. I was gonna say you were my first Hackley. I, but I met a man, um, oh, maybe about two years ago, who came to the library and said that he was a descendant of the Hackleys. But his name, I don't believe, was Hackley. Woodford? Ah, that sounds very familiar. It was Woodford. Woodford, yeah. Okay, he's a gentleman who I met one time. He's somehow connected with the University of Michigan. Yes. Yes, he was. And he was here for uh, some other event, and uh, there was a presentation that I made about the Hackley Collection. And he came back the next day because he wanted to know more. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You know, you certainly made my day. I mean, this was a very exciting past couple of days here spent in Detroit. And um, some kind of way, you know, all the other Hackley um, entities that I've happened to find myself, mm -hmm. You are all connected. There's a line that uh, connects this, uh, what you're doing here, with the Hackley Library in um, Muskegon. Mm -hmm. And um, every Hackley entity that I found, you can, you can dovetail it right back to the same dove. Oh, my goodness. That's exciting. So I'll, and I'll share that with you here. But yeah. thank you very much. Thank uh, you, you certainly made my day. Thank you.